Japan is set to allow startups to raise funding from venture capital firms through the sale of digital assets, according to a report by Nikkei. The plan is expected to be submitted to Parliament next year. Traditionally, Japan's venture capital environment is seen as conservative, with strict regulations and a risk-averse investment scene. Limited partnerships, the common vehicle for VC investment in Japan, are typically restricted to more conventional assets. Japan's government has announced a new rule that will expand investment options for crypto startups, including digital assets. The move comes as venture capital's importance in Japan's corporate landscape continues to grow. The average funding size has increased by over 390% from $65 million in 2022 to $321 million. The move follows the Japanese government's pledge to encourage further investment in startups and other sectors to concentrate its human capital and money. Magic Eden, a non-fungible token marketplace, is partnering with Solana's compressed NFTs to offer a cost-efficient and scalable alternative to owning digital collectibles. CNFTs, unlike Solana NFTs, are compressed and stored off-chain, making larger production quantities more feasible and requiring lower minting fees. This type of NFT is ideal for mass-produced collection in industries like gaming, music, events and the metaverse. The NFT marketplace aims to promote adoption and make it an easy access point for new users to collect NFTs, reducing the risk of losing money over NFTs. CNFTs powered by Solana State Compression enable the minting of up to 1 million NFTs for just $110, significantly lower than Ethereum's cost of $2.9 to over $30 per NFT. However, hosting NFTs off-chain can also present challenges. In 2022, FTX's NFTs broke down due to a Web2 API issue, highlighting the need for better hosting practices. The issue highlights the need for learning from the challenges of hosting NFTs using Web2 technology. Mark Cuban, an American investor and NBA Dallas Mavericks owner, has successfully recovered 3.049 million USDC from his stolen wallet using Arkham Intelligence Artificial Intelligence Platform. According to Chinese crypto reporter Colin Wu, the recovered USDC was then transferred to an address on the Coinbase exchange. According to Wu, Cuban's wallet was stolen after being idle for 160 days. He also noted that the wallet contained 175,000 USDC, 4.34,000 USDC, 4.86,000 USDT, 7.02,000 Rari, 12.36,000 Matic, 338.21 Staked Ether, 5.29 Ether, 8.247 wrapped Ether, 697.48 thousand rare, 16.67 thousand bit, 5.92 GOHM, and 10 thousand audio. Despite Cuban's recovery, the wallet reportedly lost about $870,000 to the hacker or group of hackers. An independent blockchain sleuth was discovered an unusual behavior on a wallet after being idle for a long time. The user shared a screenshot of recent on-chain activities and inquired if the wallet had just been drained. Cuban, a renowned investor, confirmed a hack on Metamask after logging into after months of inactivity. Cuban suggested hackers may have been stalking the wallet for a long time. CryptoMom, a crypto user on the X app, speculated that Cuban must have signed something he shouldn't have from his Metamask wallet, questioning why he held such a significant amount of crypto in a hot wallet. Junian, another X app user, confirmed that Cuban's private key was compromised as direct transfers on Etherscan indicated. In the upcoming segment, we shall update you about the following news. SAP's Indian arm eyes more patents, jobs amid AI push. AI data solution firm iMerit introduces Ango Hub. Rishi Sunak considers banning Chinese officials from half of AI summit. Stay tuned for more updates.